Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. If you are returning, welcome back. Guys, you know, sometimes people make some talk. And to rot it, it just come back and backfire upon them. This is why in life, we must not be too judgmental against other people and we must be careful the things we speak over people. Because I want to show you this. From about two weeks ago, you know, I meant to post this, but I keep forgetting. And I cannot believe that Silvera was so judgmental against these two men here, dancehall artist Rodney Price, a.k.a. Bounty Killer, and Desmond Ballantyne, a.k.a. Ninja Man. Uno look what Silvera said in 2018 about the men. Remember when the government was trying to use the dancehall artists them to kind of breach the little peace thing there between the Jamaican people and each other and to use them to help promote peace through the National Security Ministry. So here Silvira said in 2017, I said 2018 earlier, I'm sorry, it was 2017, he said motivational speakers for the JCF and other heads of Department of National Security yesterday morning at the conference center. Now you tell me one on a murder charge and one was charged for beating a female with a hammer. Now guys, do you realize that it is highly likely that Mr. Silvera is going to now share a cell block with Ninja Man? Guys, you never see anything like this yet? I don't know what to say. What do you guys have to say about it? Because this must be something else. I mean, I am surprised that Ninja Man has not said anything about this as yet. Because I don't know Ninja Man likes to address the nation. Even from behind bars, right? So, to be as judgmental as he was, right? And playing politics, you know, as you can see. Silvira I'm talking about. And as he was judgmental about the men, which he didn't lie about. Yes, Ninja Man was facing a murder charge and eventually convicted. And uh, Bounty Killer was facing the situation when beat the woman with a hammer. But Silvera now, he might have film four o'clock. Because you know them say every dog have them four o'clock. I say, go. boy, this is something else. This is something else. But I want to ask you guys a question, guys, because this is a discussion that is happening in a lot of private spaces right now. On a belief, say, Silvera is supposed to get bail. Because I am in a group and, you know, there's a discussion about whether he should get bail. And I would say about 80% of people are saying, no, he should not get bail. And the other 20% say, yes, he should get bail. And when people ask, say, why should he get bail? They're saying because, well, for the children, because their mother dead and their father are going to be behind bars. Now, I don't know who has the kids. But I am sure that they are safe. And my heart goes out to those children to have had their parents around. Boy, I feel away for the kids, them, God know. But in the same breath, I mean, me personally, I would not say that Sylvia should get bail. I don't think so, honestly. And under those circumstances, I would say let the kids, them, get acclimated to another environment with other people. You know what I mean? And it must be hard for those people to, you know, be taking care of the kids under the circumstance, having to reassure them that they're going to be okay, taking them to therapy maybe, you know, and just trying to be the best guardians as possible, taking each day, you know, just one step at a time. But guys, I'm going to bring you something interesting one of my subscribers sent me this thing here that says web of murder and i think it's pretty creative i laughed at first but i think it's quite creative whomever created it so i zoomed in on it i mean look i mean want to ask you if you want to think about a web of murder yeah then said mark golden he knew 
Mikhail Phillips first on the scene. This is alleged, guys. Whether Mark Golden knew, he was the first one to announce it on social media. So I guess we could say that he knew about Melissa's death, right? But them say we of murder. I mean, I don't know if Mark Golden did not say a murder, my love. But if, we're, if there's a trial, we will hear, okay? Now, further on the web of murders, them say, um, shot three times in vagina. That is Melissa. I don't know the location of the gunshot wounds. I heard rumors, but I'm not going to confirm any of it because I don't know exactly where the bullet wounds hit Melissa. The bullets hit Melissa. Um, and there they have Silvera, Farmer CPO, hit the murder. Well, where our Farmer CPO is concerned, yes, he was the security, the chief security officer of Mark Golden. Yeah. Did he hide the murder? Well, them have him in a custody right now. You understand him is a suspect. And most people believe, say, yes, him hide the murder. Because first, it was reported Melissa died in her sleep of aneurysm and then we come here say a gunshot so clearly somebody wasn't telling the truth now here we have miss little bit of blood who confessed allegedly confessed to wiping up the blood i don't know if she confessed to wiping up the blood but in my view i think she was involved in the cover-up yes and i think the police they must investigate it more based on the things that she said on social media and allegedly bunting's wife Help clean up the scene. Guys, last night I featured her as one of my um thumbnail on one of my thumbnail. And the reason why I featured her on it is because it is alleged that the police then wanted to talk to her and she refused to speak with the police. And by the way, she was at Melissa's funeral. What I am hearing allegedly is that she was there, that she was at the house. She was at the scene, right? She can come out, come say no. I don't know, but that is the allegation that I hear is that she was at the scene and the police, they may want to talk to her and she refused. I don't know if she talked to the police or if it is true that she was there, but that is the allegation, guys. As I said, guys, my gut feeling tell me, say, what happened to Melissa? I think some of these people were there and are called there by the husband perhaps to try to save melissa save her life after she was shot and injured right or to say hey she's not responsive she's not responding what do you think happened to her and maybe they went there and tried to save her too by doing their own assessment maybe or maybe not knowing that she was shot and that's why I said the police must put all of them to testify in a court of law. And if the police in a Jamaica don't do that, me lose half of them. Because this case is so suspicious that everybody who went on that crime scene and was called to the crime scene should certainly be put in a court of law to answer to some questions. They don't all have to be charged if they didn't do anything wrong or illegal. But certainly, they should be made to tell the public what they saw and how they were involved. As for the people them who get called to the crime scene, boy, I mean, I don't know. You think so nobody could have called me and tell me about say, somebody not respond or somebody collapse and them something that I'm getting on my vehicle and drive go there? Eh, eh. You have to go call the police or call the medics. You cannot call me. Because me no know what happened and next thing me go go and get in a problem. And so me look for life in you know, a so certain thing. And everybody I go do that. You understand? I don't think if they me call Peter Phillips, me da go. As much as how Peter Phillips was at Melissa's wedding and them something, and I'm sure he may even love her like his own daughter. But certain things you just don't do because it's not right. You understand? As much as you might be curious, you have to be careful. Right? I don't know how these people are involved. But if Fitz Bailey is hearing this, I'm going to ask Fitz Bailey to make sure that these people testify. Fitz Bailey and the DPP must make them all testify and say what they saw, what they walked into, what they were told, and how they left it. 
All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Share the channel with your friends and call them over here.